Welcome to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. It's Friday, my friends. We have made it, and boy, oh boy, we have a great show for you today. We kick things off with one of my favorites, executive chef, owner of Next, joining me on the show. If you haven't been, well, he's going to convince you to go because it's one of the best places for a, an amazing dining experience. Chef Michael Blackie joining me on the show. Welcome. Welcome Thank you. back. Great to have you awesome. here. Uh, you guys. Crazy busy as usual, things are going well over at Next? Well, it boom booms like this tonight. Yeah. Like I already have two Christmas parties. I had to limit my a la carte reservations and it just goes, and it's incredible. You know that the last three years, corporate really wasn't going. Right, yeah, of course, yeah. A month ago, I had to change the website where I had my Christmas events. I'm like, so sorry, we're sold out. And nice. like, I've not done that since I came to Ottawa in 03. Right. And there's just such a demand that now we're, we have bookings starting up when we come back from our winter break in January, and we're doing Christmas parties then, because people are like, Okay, I'll just take a Sunday, <laughs> just get me in, and I'm like, okay, 150 nice, people on nice. a Sunday, okay. And that's just, like, phenomenal to see that bounce back. From yeah, and I was on, on your website, I noticed uh, you do have maybe some spots left for that sort of 7 to 14 group, right? But no no big groups right now, you're, you're probably fully 7 booked. to 14 restaurant-only okay, bookings, okay. yeah, and it's a, like, there's a whole formula... To, to do that, we do the blind okay. sharing experience, but it's really designed for like, you know, family outings or family festivities, or even like just small office parties, doctors' yeah. offices, dentists, that Absolutely. kind of thing. You can still get in, but don't mess around and don't wait too long. <laughs> Agreed. And that goes for um, Christmas at home, New Year's at home. You guys sell out each and every year. That's mm -hmm. what we're talking about today. What menu are you doing with me today? New Year's Eve at home. Okay. Okay. It's based on the formula of global tables that we did. It's a fun little formula that we do. I'm very blessed. I get Matt West. I don't know if you're familiar I know with that Matt. character. Yeah, absolutely. He comes on board, and we do a little film session. We're actually doing it next week for this one because okay. it's a brand new menu. And when you're writing menus like I have for so many years, I thought, you know, New Year's Eve at home, what should I do? Let's do the best dishes we created this year in 2023. Great idea. So that's what this is all okay. about today. And some of it, some people are familiar with, because there's some dishes when you get to a point, it's called the 50 plus sign. You get to a certain point, you're like, yeah, that tuna pizza was pretty <laughs> epic, you know? Like someone's at home right now. Yeah. Don't forget the cheese curds, Blackie. So <laughs> I want the crispy chicken. If that's off the menu, I'm not coming back. Oh, that's like bankruptcy right. material. Oh, 100%. I'm done if I do it's, that. It's my favorite dish right, right next. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. Seven courses. Okay. Two little bites. All right. Kind of pace. Yeah. Bottle of wine. Okay. Two cocktails. Everything packaged in containers, ready to go, delivered to the door, $90 per person. This it's fantastic. It's like, oh, yeah, and we throw the parody favors in. Nice. So you literally, if you feel like you just don't want to go out, mm -hmm. some people don't want to do it on some, festive holidays. 100%. They're just like, not yeah. doing Valentine's, going to stay at home, yeah. probably not get out of bed. I'm that guy. You're that guy? Monica and I, <laughs> we're that couple. <laughs> we're like, you know what? We're over 50. You know, um, you know, all these, listen, the other thing that drives us crazy is when you go out for entertainment, right? Yeah. The, the band starts at 10. Start the band at 7, man. Like, I want to go home at 11. So true. I don't want to be starting something at 10, 10, 30. And I know I'm old, and I don't care. Okay? I don't. I don't anymore. Like, no, just cater it, to some, some of the older crowds But sometimes. even some people who are just like, you know, whether it's mobility issues mm -hmm. or you just, like, you want to get all your friends over at the house, you can just order these kits in multiples. So it's a right. huge amount. And you, so Matt West, go back to him. Yeah. He videos it. So you get a walkthrough video of me walking you through the whole process of right. the food. Like what we're going to do today. Okay. It's packaged in such a way that if you mess it up, I kind of cane you a little bit in the video. Okay. I'm like, 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 like we do a brunch. Yeah. At Mother's Day, and like people are like, one lady called me and she's like, you know, my husband was like grumbling and sweating over making the burn a sauce, and I'm like, yeah, but I kind of encouraged with like uh, positive and negative reinforcement at the same time to make the burn a sauce, but at the same time, it's very humorous, right? Yeah, like, of course. You, you want to have fun. Yeah, you're not just walking people through, and it's it's entertaining at the same time, right? Totally. I mean, look, I want to show you a couple of the dishes. We're not going to go do all seven. It's yeah, pretty I think out of control. That'd be, that'd be a little it's out a of lot, control. right? Yeah. This is a little dish here. This is course one. It's a baby spinach salad. It's the best of two worlds, Japan in Italy going on Okay. Here. So what we have is a soya truffle. Oh. Soya truffle Dijon. Nice. I mean, 
Oh, I could just, I could almost use that as oh, like suntan lotion. You could. You so could. you're just going to pop that down on your plates. Okay. And what's great about having the video with me is that you can just pause. Yeah, exactly. You, you, you cook, you pause, you play, you repeat. Put the tablet or laptop on the kitchen counter and just keep hitting play and pause whenever you need it. Right? You know, and if it's just the two of you, you can be like, honey, I got this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Opening a bottle of wine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> should, we, should I do that? I think that's a great idea. You brought idea. a bottle of wine yeah. here? Yeah, fly by night, a little, little California, California Pinot, Pinot Noir. Noir. Oh, yeah. Very nice, fly so, by. Skill okay. tests, skill, yeah, let's see how okay, you do. Okay, we'll see. I don't want you to be putting that uh, corkscrew through your... No, 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 I'm, I, I've, I've done this You've many, done this many, many times. times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And you brought the old school one to test oh. me, which I, re you know what? I respect it. You're using I respect my it. personal corkscrew. Is this yours from uh, home? Yeah, that's 33 okay. years. No, that's industry one. Oh, that's the industry, okay. Yeah, the one at home is a whole other contraption. There we go. Yeah, the one, I used to have the one at home, you know, where you just did the just cranked it right out. Right. And the spring broke and I couldn't put it back together. And then you're like, what am okay. I gonna do? Let me pour us a couple of. I love it. Little bit of, little bit of wine So here. dressing went down, I did a little soya avocado, uh, sorry, a little um, olive oil, avocado, truffle oil. I can we smell some, the truffle. You can truffle. smell it, right? Oh, it's beautiful. Like what a way to start. But imagine if you're at home, you've already had canopies. Yeah. You've already had a cocktail. cocktail. We're doing a Calvados sidecar. Look at this, what little shiitake little, mushroom. Little mushroom? Nice. Yeah, a little shiitake mushroom. I'm keeping that Japanese theme going on there, Beauty. right? Yeah. And then finish it off with the Parmesan Origiano. The Parmesano, very Look at nice. That. Look, Look at that. that. I mean, that's Thing course one. And that's all you have to do. By the way, just a reminder, when you get this, this is all you have to do. That's it. Assembly. Yeah, the assembly part of it. Assembly, a little heating, nothing crazy. All right, here. Yeah. Have a glass. Oh, okay, there you go. Hey, daytime drinking. Listen, it's, With Derek it's, it's, it's afternoon. Lafayette. It's afternoon, right? Uh, the oh, things that's nice. I could change. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, the things I could change. I love it. <laughs> uh, this would probably go well with what you've got going over here, right? The braised beef short rib. Yeah. With duck fat mashed potato. Got a little bit of garnish over here. Okay. You want to dive right into that? Sure. We're feeling, we're feeling 100%. confident, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I love it. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay. Plates down. Got that. I don't think I have heat, though, for my veggies. So okay. that could be a bit of a failure. That's, it's all right. We've got two segments. So you know what we can oh. do? We can get the pan heating up now, and then after the break, we get things sizzling. You know so, what I'm saying? So, so then, yeah, I'm listening. No, I was going to say, in the meantime, yeah. you not only have your, your New Year's Eve dinner mm -hmm. uh, at home, you've got your Christmas dinner at home as well, and you've got your New Year's uh, gala happening at the restaurant, New right? New Year's Eve gala tickets are flying off the shelf as we speak right now. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, that one, 6.30 seating, 8.30 seating. 159 per person, you get two drink tickets, you get a seven course blind tasting menu, nice. two drink tickets. So, you yeah. know, and you're gonna get Prosecco as well. So then if Later you on. add on the wine flights for three, you're pretty much lit by the time New Year's Eve comes on. It's perfect. The Hammer, DJ Slim's in the house and we got a lounge. Hold that thought, we'll be back with more with Michael Blackie right after this. This program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit rogers.com for more details. Every year, dozens of Canadians are killed or seriously injured because they take risks around railway tracks. Talk to your loved ones about rail safety. Visit stoptracktragedies.ca.
some of Canada's most interesting and accomplished people share their lives, careers, insights and stories each week on Canada Files. I'm Valerie Pringle and I'll be speaking with economist Mark Carney, actor Eugene Levy, author Louise Penny and architect Moshe Safdie, among others. I hope you can join us. TV. Back again with Chef Michael Blackie, executive chef owner of Next, and we got the pan sizzling now. Right now we can get those veggies going. If you're, if you're just joining us now, by the way, uh, we're talking about New Year's Eve in a box, because Michael and I were talking, not everyone wants to go out. Maybe if you're, you know, a little old and, and grumpy, like, I'm not grumpy, actually, I'm never grumpy. But, you know, you want to do a little something at home, but you don't want to do all that work. This is how you can have somebody else do most of the work for you, right? How long does it take you to do mashed potatoes, like, from scratch? Oh, yeah, it's, it's a good, I would say that's taken me a good 40 minutes, right? Wow. I love that. <laughs> I was going to just. You think go, it's fast? I was going to go 22, but I'm with oh, you. I'm okay. with you. Okay. Well, yeah, but you're a professional. I'm at home. You know, mm, I'm an amateur. You know, after a glass of wine, I think we're all kind of the same caliber. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. So you've got the uh, what was this duck fat infused mashed? Duck fat, right? Duck fat infused mashed potatoes. Okay. Just a little veggies here. Some kale, cauliflower, a little asparagus. Real straightforward. Nothing fancy going on here. You know, we want you to have an elevated experience, but we don't want you, like, stressing out, right? right? I mean, the reality of doing a nice chunk of braised beef short rib, even if you uh, just decide to go to the bedroom for an hour and come back, the meat's still going to be perfect. That is true. That's the beauty up. of the braising. <laughs> that's the beauty of New Year's Eve at home. Well, and that's, yes. The celebrations. Even, even better. Even better. <laughs> and again... You, you asked me how long it would take me to do mashed potato. Well, how long would it, would it take somebody to do a braised short rib at home, right? Oh, yeah. You're talking, you're talking big time. I'm just going to shut off these so that, Thank you, you know. so I don't set the studio well, on fire. It's, Did you it's, hear it's, about my, uh, what happened downtown? No. Oh, yeah. We, I, I had Matt, my chef, who's been with me since the opening. Yeah. And, you know, the downtown studio, CTV, they had a issue years, years, years ago, right? Yes. The old studios, right? Yeah. So I'm there. I'm with uh, Leanne Kuzak in the center, and we were doing a cook-off. Okay. But what I did was I cranked Matt's temperatures and I put dry <laughs> pans on and he goes to hit the stuff in and, goes, <laughs> and the face on, on Leanne, it was quite entertaining. Um, She's like, don't burn the studio. We, we had something quite similar. You know, you know Ben Baird? Of course. Right over at the Pelican God, Market. Love him. Uh, love and him. so he's coming on, I believe it's next week or the, or the week after. He's, he's one of our, our regular guests. So last time he was on, um, same sort of deal. We kind of got lost in conversation. He had the pot sitting there on um, probably medium high. He hits it with the butter, and the whole place just smokes Boom. up. Had to open up the studio door just because you do not, you do not want the fire alarm. No. Or a sprinkler system. Do you think happening he was like poaching too much over at the uh, Pelican these could days? Be. Could, could be. Could be that, right? Yeah, yeah. Like if these things are like challenging. He's got something. actually speaking of challenge. So that's something we're doing with him. Is we we are asking our viewers mm -hmm. to tell us what seafood. Uh, they find most difficult to cook, and then he's going to show us how to do it. So you haven't done the segment up in a yet. Couple. No, not yet. Not yet. That's fun. Yeah, I like it. We All need right. To, we need to uh, showcase the braised beef short yeah, rib. Look at this. Who, who wants to get that? Kevin, you want to get that? Look at that. Looks absolutely they don't need beautiful. A you don't need a cafeteria. Finish here. it off with a, no, not at all. Send the <laughs> Finish it off with uh, some sesame seeds on there, right? Exactly. Okay. A toasted sesame. Well, this is a miso ginger, uh, red miso ginger uh, braising liquid that's done okay. for the brief short rib. Oh, you're diving. Okay. Well, you I should little, try. It. Oh, got a little well, look at how tender it is. I don't even need it. Yeah, pretty much. Look at that. Yeah, you're good. Beautiful. Is this the? What do you got next year? This, this is the a pizza? tuna pizza. The tuna pizza. Like, this I did at Brook Street back in like, oh, wow, 03? 
And the tuna pizza, people come into the next and they're like, when are you bringing it back? I'm like, what do you mean? Like, that was Brook Street. And they're like, that's like yeah. 15 years ago or something. Oh, uh, no, no. 20? 24. What? Yeah. It's been 24 oh, years 20, since you were there? Yeah, it'll be. Yeah. Holy jeez. I know. I am getting old. I know, but it's good. We've had so much fun. Oh, I mean, at Brook I mean, Street? Yeah. And look at this tuna pizza. Oof. What have you got here? Wait, so what's this? This, um... this is a little togarashi mayo. So you're going to have this. This is part of the New Year's Eve celebration. Okay. Okay, like I'm pulling out all the punches, people. Oh, yeah, no, no, like you're, you're going getting, all in here. You're getting, yeah. you're getting what you need to get for the night, right? Look at this. Oh. Little, um, we got a company, Ozawa, based out of Montreal. And okay. They, we get our tuna pizzas, our tuna from them. Okay. L lovely sear on that. You've seared it Let's off perfectly, yeah. Let's see if I can yeah. get this little wasabi mayo down. Oh, Ooh. baby. But like not to break you, just to remake Yeah, 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 I got gotcha. you. Remake you. Yeah. You know, so you're like not so traumatized. I, I, I used to be that 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 person that did the hot just for the sake of hot, right? Oh, I'm showing off as hot. And then I realized, you know, all of this stuff is absolutely flavorless, <laughs> right? But if you get the right, if you get the right one, and, the, and we have a lot of great local ones, boy oh boy, you get the flavor and you get a little bit of the punch too at it's, the same time. It's so true. I mean, so tuna pizza, you know, for me, I came up with this recipe because everywhere I, every time I go to a sushi restaurant, I always order tuna pizza. You do the tuna pizza. And I don't I've think always, I've ever, I don't think I've ever had it. I've had so many versions of tuna pizza, so this is my little togarashi around the tuna itself. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Look at me here. I'm just Look at knocking you. them you're, out like one after the other here. And this there is you what go. you're gonna be you're gonna be doing at home, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Look at that. Oh, yeah. just took it. Poor <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> we, he just had the he just had the close up. My apologies, Kevin. Ladies and gentlemen. I, I blame myself. <laughs> Kevin, bring there it. There you on. go. Look at that. Beautiful. Tuna Thing pizza. of beauty. Like I don't know about you, maybe just kind of should go we, in there. Should we try it? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. a one biter, that's yeah. for happy, sure. Happy New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's Eve, yeah. Here we go. Okay. Mm. There, see that? That's about a three biter. That's a total three biter. Yeah. yeah it did pretty well considering it flew in on the car this morning. Mm. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, Want to mention brunch too because you're, you brought back brunch, right? Same idea, tasting menu idea? Took a tasting menu at night, put it at brunch. As I did the research to do this concept, I realized no one's doing it. They're right. either doing a buffet or they're doing a la carte. Right. But to do, take tasting menu, sharing, and put it at lunch. Now, we were doing 16 courses, okay. 16 dishes, presented yeah. over five waves, and everybody was walking out with shopping bags of leftovers, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna change this. So, yeah, so very now, smart. It's 11, presented over four waves. Okay. It's so much fun. The reservations this Sunday, we're already sitting at around 65. I know we're gonna trickle up to 80. Oh my God, after this session, we might even go even more silly. I might gonna... divide myself in half. We are packing the place, okay? Uh, Chef Blackie, always a pleasure. Next.ca, they're located out there on Hazel Dean Road. You can call them, visit the website. Reservations go quick, no matter what you're reserving for. We'll be back with more right after this. This is a brain in urgent need of mental health care. But because three out of every four indigenous people experience racism in health care, she may not get the help she needs. Become an ally. Rise above racism in health care. I was born and raised in Musqueam First Nation territory by my mother who spoke Hunkaminam to me. As a child, I ceased using my mother tongue as to use any language other than English was considered not being Canadian, so I was told. The old people came to me in a dream and reminded me of who I am and where I come from. I have reawakened. My roots are strong and I'm no longer a silent speaker. My language tells me where I'm from. It defines me and guides me to teach others to learn and understand our culture and tradition. A gift for those in the present and the unborn generation. What was lost is found. What was asleep has awakened. My blood is here and I am complete.
I have returned home. Play four games of bingo from the comfort of your own home each Monday at 7 p.m. for your chance to win money from our $2,000 regular bingo or $5,000 super bingo night. Kiwanis TV Bingo, Mondays at 7 p.m. on Rogers TV. Learn all about the creation of the National Capital Region on The History of Ottawa According to Phil Jenkins on Rogers TV. It's like an all-star lineup on today's show. From one superstar to another superstar celebrating a huge anniversary, 10 years in business. Sheena Brady is the owner, founder, and CEO of Tease Wellness. When I met her, it was Tease Tea, but they have expanded and grown so much, it is now Tease Wellness. Welcome back. Thank you so much for having me back. It's I a pleasure. love getting to come back in the studio with you. Uh, let's talk about that growth. Yes. So yeah, take, take us back 10 years ago, you yeah. had this wonderful idea. So before we get to the growth, uh, let's talk about the inspiration first of all. Yes, so I worked in hospitality for a decade and I was working 12 hour shifts and to get through those shifts and those nights, weekends, holidays, over consumption of coffee all day long, six, mm. seven, eight cups of coffee, and then at nighttime, I would turn to wine to relax and fall asleep and obviously plot twist both those things did very little to help with my already existing anxiety insomnia and digestion issues long story short that journey led me to the Shangri-La Hotel in Toronto working in hospitality still at that time I was asked to create the biggest tea program in the city PR worthy wow worthy I didn't even drink tea at the time really? yeah so okay. I, had my, I had my work cut out for me so I became a professional tea sommelier with the Tea and Herbal Association of Canada and, and what, with a perfect score yes if I remember 10 correctly. out of 10 yeah, in my blind tasting that. exam. Yeah. yeah, good memory. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, so then, yeah, one thing led into another, and what I realized was, wait a minute, however you're feeling, there is a tea or botanical beverage for that. And that's really the foundation of teas. The next thing I knew, I was, you know, creating my own formulations out of my then condo in Toronto um, to help, you know, with sleep management, digestion support, more energy, uh, and I started blending them for friends and family, and here we are a decade later. Amazing. So that's a big, Just quick, amazing. scrappy story. Story, but yeah. Yeah. So then, why the why the name change, right? Yes. Tease tea, as I said, it, because it, it became more than than just than just tea. Exactly. <laughs> there, we're just moving that. Oh, I you. guess it was in someone's oh, shot. Sorry. Thank you for that. So <laughs> don't be sorry. It's not your fault. Uh, mm -hmm. And then, so you've grown so much, and then obviously you expanded and, and you grew the company. Yes. Tell me about that growth. So we started as a loose leaf tea company. That's our roots and a lot of integrity in the loose leaf formulations that I create. And then when the pandemic happened, something interesting happened around the same time I had a private label uh, client a request who said we love your formulations but we want them in tea bags and I said okay. well, I, don't, I don't do tea bags um, if I do do them for you they need to be done right I need you know control over the supply chain etc need the manufactured in Canada no microplastics no bleaches no chemicals nothing and that's gonna cost five times the cost of a traditional tea bag fortunately they were down we made it happen and then I I noticed I stopped drinking my own loose leaf tea because every time I wanted a cup of tea, I was just enjoying the private, the same formulation, but in the convenient, beautiful right. tea bag it format. It was quicker. It was right? quicker. You're it was like, more oh, convenient. It's not a process. Exactly. So then that red, you know, yellow flag happened. I kind of stopped being my own original customer type, right? And I thought, okay. well, I'm not the only super ambitious, you know, woman with so much on the go, trying to juggle family life and work and career and community and everything. Uh, and so that was kind of the, the pivotal moment. And I thought, okay, we, I really want to focus on more of accessible wellness through tea and botanical infused essentials. So right. now, you know, all of our teas have been everything from repackaged and reformulated to be exclusively functionally focused. Um, but we've diversified into beauty uh, and wellness products. So like think coconut chamomile bath soaks or Earl Grey scrubs, nice. matcha face masks. And then in the process, we launched the world's first um, fully biodegradable and refillable tea collection, which I'm very proud of. Amazing. Well. Just amazing. Yeah. And you wanted to help others. And I know yes. that's something you've been passionate about in particular women helping women and yes. that's where your founders fund yes. came came into play right exactly and so you know again being a, a very ambitious woman entrepreneur and you know starting over 10 years ago you can't google what you don't know to google in the first place right and so I really struggled more than necessary I'm pretty sure in my early days due to lack of network lack of capital um, you know lack of just general knowledge and what I learned in talking to other women founders over the years is that I, I'm so far from alone in having uh, to you know to, to work through systemic and traditional barriers that women face mm -hmm. in entrepreneurship 
And so in 2019, we started the Founders Fund, and so that's our sister company at Tease, and we invest in the next generation of successful women founders, and I'm proud to share that we've raised and distributed over $250,000 to date nice. in the form of grant funding, mentorship, and education to support these women founders. Congratulations Thank on you. that. I noticed, um, you know, we were enjoying um, a, a wine, but you have brought an idea, and we're seeing more and more of this, right? Yes. You go now to um, a restaurant, doesn't matter whether it's high-end or not, you're seeing more and more mocktails, yes. but really creative mocktails, and we're going to make one today, right? Absolutely. Okay. I'm going to put you to work. All right. And uh, so to get started, this is our Crimson Cranberry Tea. It's an immunity-boosting blend, okay. and it's very festive for this time of year as well. And I just want to touch base on a very important point you, met, you mentioned, you know, this growing trend of sober socializing, and there is just an increased expectation in making sure there are appropriate alternatives out there. Like, gone are the days where you, you know, you can only just offer, like, soda or Coke for people who yeah, don't want, you exactly. know, non-alcoholic options. It's yeah. sophisticated, elevated options should be the go-to. And this has wellness in mind as well. So I'll put you to work, okay. bartender. <laughs> okay, I'm so, just going to pour a little yeah, bit of each ahead, in here. Okay. Each, exactly. Does it matter how much? Oh, you're doing great. Okay. Yeah, that's there we perfect. go. And this is super easy. So it's again our crimson cranberry immunity boosting blend. You're going to top it off with some tonic water. Oh, I love this tonic. So do I. Got, some, that's a great company. Uh, Fever tea is amazing, and it just adds some depth and again sophistication. It tastes like you know a, a cocktail, um, but obviously. And what have you got alcohol. around the rim here? So I did you a favor, and I already did the brown sugar okay. rim because I had a feeling it might get awkward for you on air to like do the whole thing. So I just did that for you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And then and we're just going to add a fun festive garnish. You can okay. pop one in each, and there that's just a dry. Oh, that's not good. Never mind. <laughs> Nothing to see here. As you. <laughs> this is just a dry lemon wheel, <laughs> and so this is our take on a champagne mocktail. And so, I love in it. celebration of teas turning ten, um, I toast to you. And thank you for being a huge supporter for teas going on over eight years now. I'm sure. So thank you. My pleasure. Absolutely. <laughs> Congratulations you. to you. Mm. What do you think? Absolutely fantastic. Isn't that nice? I really like it. And the sweetness on the rim to take away a little bit of that, you know, bite from yes, the sour. Exactly. Absolutely perfect. Um, you're celebrating. Yes. Right? Uh, December 1st, you have a yes, big celebration. Yes, now, I don't think it's Friday. open to the public, right? It's Send, it's an invitation find only. Me so. And find me on in Instagram or wherever. If you put things up at the end, I'll make it happen. If any okay. viewers want to okay. join, we still have a few limited spaces left. And uh, it's at Parlor. And it, Parlor is such a beautiful venue in Ottawa. Um, the, the It's woman owned. Um, the founder, her name is Erin. And I just love the space. I'm a very sentimental person. It used to be a parlor. Uh, sorry, a funeral home parlor. Oh, and really? Slash church. And then okay. it was Bagel Bagel for a million years. And she took it over. And she's kind of brought back that concept of like celebrating, you know, um, life and bringing people together and nice. through a parlor environment. I love and it. And so it kind of ties into teas as well and what, what we're all about. So Absolutely. I'm very excited about it. Congratulations that. Thank again. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Uh, again, visit the website, find out all the information about teas wellness. We'll be back with more right after this. I'm Wendell Clark with a word about winning. We all know it takes a team effort in any sport and with any challenge. You can be a part of the winning team that shuts out impaired driving. Whether you're out on the town or just hanging out with friends, drink responsibly. Always have a plan for a safe ride home for yourself, your family, and your friends. You'll be helping to shut out impaired driving. Visit ArrivaLive.org to find out more. Arrive Alive. Drive sober. Join me, holistic chef Daniela Croco, for season four of Simply Cooking by Um Chef right here on Rogers TV. October 5th, 2014, my daughter was hit by a train. She was walking along the sides of the tracks, and it shattered her world. <laughs> I'm Nicole Martin, the proud ambassador for the Comfort Bear program. Comfort Bears provide these cuddly bears to local children who are terminally ill, facing trauma, or battling a serious illness. Every $20 donation will place a Comfort Bear into the loving arms of a child involved in our program. It is our hope to distribute 1,000 bears in 2022. Please join us and provide comfort to kids in their time of need. your men at home tonight. Hey, this is Dominique Orly. I'm part of Encore 3, and be sure to catch my set this week. We are going downtown. 
Welcome back. We continue with our superstars on the show here today. Uh, holidays just around the corner. No matter what you're celebrating, you're probably looking for a little something. Well, this is great because we're going to be talking about some absolute classics, some local Canadian brands as well. Lucia Zagumas joins me, lifestyle blogger. Welcome back to the show. Thank you great so to much, have Derek. you here. Great to be back. It's great to have you because you always bring just, I, I love that you bring just a variety and so many unique things. And I think when sometimes when people think local, they think only mom and pop, but you know, we've got great great malls, right, with independent Absolutely. stores, Canadian stores, that's and that's exactly. where we're going to start today. Sure, so Place we're going to start in the right? east end of okay. Ottawa. That's where I'm from. Okay, that's <laughs> so your hood. We're starting in Lucia's hood. hood here. Uh, and Place right. is a great mall, uh, you know, free parking, which is amazing, especially mm -hmm. during the holidays, underground parking too, which makes things more easy and accessible. And Place Lanes has so many great stores that a lot of people might not even know because sometimes you don't even remember that we have a mall in the east end. Right. Fantastic. It's got the bay. It has so many great stores, and there's so many great finds right now for the holiday season, uh, like Soft Mock, which has a huge selection of Uggs. Now, Uggs in some stores wow, are sold that. out around town. Really? Like, even online, you can't find wow. Uggs, and they have all the Uggs that you're looking for in okay. all sizes. So it's um, a great stop to shop yeah, to, get, to get your Uggs. And um, Plaster Lanes also has Indigo in their mall, yeah. which is fantastic because you can kind of go to Indigo and get everything for somebody on your on your shopping list, right? We've got Moleskine Notebook. Books. I go through these all the time, as do my children. <laughs> we got the new Britney Spears book. Great oh, bio on Britney, of press. course. We Everyone's got history book. textbooks. This is Emperor of Rome. Nice. And Home Alone, the illustrated uh, oh, Lost really? in New York, which is so cute for kids that are just discovering Home Alone this holiday season. Absolutely. Great gifts and stocking stuffers, of course. This is such a cute little set. So oh, you cute. can do that. Like just pop it, it in the yeah, stocking. Yeah. You got your soft, fuzzy socks yeah. and your little mug for Maybe your even tea. a host, hostess gift exactly. kind of idea, too, exactly. right? Exactly. to do something a, a little idea. bit. Whoa, yeah. watch it, people. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to go to the West End, To the West right? End, to Tanger Outlet. So this okay. is a whole different experience of shopping because I don't know if you've been to Tanger oh, yeah, Outlet. Okay, have. so it's outdoor shopping. You have so many amazing stores, like tons. So wear your comfortable shoes or your sneakers or your Uggs. Your Fitbit. Yeah. So you get your <laughs> get steps, your steps in. Yeah. in. Definitely. So many great sales uh, at Tanger right now starting today for Black Friday and right. all, all year round because it's Tanger Outlets, right? So you're, yeah. you're always getting discounted prices. And of course, Lint is a great store to stock up on your chocolates. They chocolate. come wrapped for you too, so you don't have to do the hard work. Great hostess nice. gifts, of course. Stocking stuffers for the kids. Bath and Body Works is my go-to for the holiday season and soaps. And oh, so and many, they actually yeah. have them like uh, oh, yeah, holiday. Like yeah, little, it's a huge thing. There fantastic. was like so many people in Bath and Body Works. Really? Place. Oh yeah, because <laughs> they have so many great deals. Yeah. You like buy three, get three for free. Just incredible at nice. Tanger Outlets. Great deals. Tory Burch, of course, for accessories. Yep. And your leather goods. Let's yeah. go to an iconic brand, because when you told me how long they've been around, I was quite surprised. My wife absolutely loves Reitman's. Mm -hmm. They've been around since when? 1926, 1926. actually. Yeah, which is amazing. And still family-owned, right? Canadian company, still family-owned, so they've kept it uh, within the family. And sometimes you forget we have such a great Canadian retailer that is, uh, you can find them in Place Orleans and, uh, and uh, train yards. So many locations yeah. across the city. Yeah. Right now, it is the season to sparkle, of course. Absolutely. You look at you. Done, You're yeah, sparkling so this yourself. Is, this is one of their dresses as well. Uh, it also comes in the silver, which I think is such a fun look yeah. for New Year's Eve. And the nicest part is a little bow in the back, too. Nice. So beautiful, comfortable. You know what I like about all the pieces you brought here, Lucia? Is these are all classic. All right? classic. Like from, it's never from one year to the next, it's never Absolutely. out of style, right? And their little sweaters with the little rhinestones. Oh, I love that. So yeah, this that's can be beautiful. worn even to work. So you go from, you know, in the office to after dinner yeah. uh, or drinks after work and your little fuzzy sweaters for Christmas morning. Of course, Very it's nice. so super soft, Oh my gosh, right? look at that. Incredible stuff. And that's and, faux uh, fur. It, right? Yeah, it feels like a faux fur, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's super luxurious, super Beautiful. luxe. And uh, just super affordable as well, like little tops you can pair with your jeans or black pants. Yeah, you can dress these up, as dress you said, or, or, or dress them down a little bit. And then too. The sparkle doesn't stop there. We've nice. got accessories. So stocking stuffers as well. you got your rides 
Hearthstone earrings and rings, just everything. Yeah. Great price points too. So when you're shopping, you're trying to you know save a buck or two, right? Yeah, so, exactly. So Redmond's yeah. is a great place to shop and, and get that done. Um, super cute. You can just box them together, give to whoever right. loves the sparkles this season. Definitely. Uh, let's talk food. Uh, this is a great local company you wanted to highlight, and that's Absolutely. Torshi. Absolutely. This right? is Torshi, and they are a, a local company um, made in can made in Ottawa, I should say, with right. fresh vegetables. Um, and Torsh actually comes from the Persian word, which means sour. Oh, okay. actually. So they decided okay. to call their company Torshi. Nice. Uh, so it's pickled vegetables, and it makes a great gift to give somebody in the holiday so too. season, yeah. right? Because who doesn't like some pickled vegetables on uh, a charcuterie board, right? Yeah. So when you're prepping for the holidays, you can add this to your charcuterie board, and it's just super delicious. And it's great that they're a local company, and they're doing so well. And you can uh, shop their products online as well. Okay. And um, are they available in store? Do they no, have a store? No, they're not in store yet, okay. but they do a okay. lot of the, uh, the food markets oh, and the gotcha. Christmas market, all that gotcha. stuff. So e easy to uh, to find as well in Ottawa. What have we got at the end okay, here? Because so, this one yeah. really caught my eye. This Tell me really about neat. this. So this is, is an this advent like an advent calendar? It's an advent calendar okay. uh, filled with jewelry and other fun things no from a Toronto way. company, a Canadian business called Ola Edda. Ola Edda. So it's beautiful. They have earrings and rings and bracelets and shopping bags. So I'm not going to give it all away because it is an advent calendar. Yeah, of course. That people will start using in December, of course. Um, and each day is something different. So I think that's super creative. And uh, again, a Canadian company that uh, is run by a woman. So I think that's just great. Well, and, and it's just, I mean, come, it's come along so, for, you know, so far when I just think advent calendars, right? Mm -hmm. It used to be kids only, right? And nothing wrong with that, <laughs> yeah, right? You had only. the chocolates, but then the well, kids uh, actually had like an advent been calendar to look like that. They'd have a little toy then That's and everything. Right. And the adults are sitting around going, hey, hey <laughs> what about me? That's right. <laughs> right. Or just like the little uh, papers you would flip back and there's like illustrations. Yes, you know, the, I remember the those. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I think I grew up with those, which are also cute. But yeah, now advent calendars have come a long way for sure. So that makes like a great gift to give somebody as well. So for if you're sure. maybe visiting somebody before Christmas and you want to leave them a gift behind, they can enjoy it. They can open it all at once, of course, because I think a lot of people do that now with advent calendars, yeah, right? Especially for sure. when it's not chocolates. Well, um, not to mention, too, I'm just, I, I just thinking, you know, for your spouse or, or partner, right? And, and, you know, maybe you're making it a part of the Christmas gift, but it's an early one. I That's think right. this is a great it's, idea. It's we had Nita idea. Beer Company on last week. Amazing. They've got their advent so calendar, right? Great, Another uh, yeah, local so business. So many great ideas. Are you done your holiday shopping? Started? I anything? No? <laughs> started maybe. Okay. I'm starting today. You're starting. Well, it's a good a good time to start is <laughs> today for sure. Lukia, thank you so much. Always thank a pleasure. So much, Follow Lukia on social media. Mrs. Lulu is where you can find her. We'll be back with more right after this. This is a man's heart, a heart in desperate need of medical attention. But because 78% of Indigenous people experience racism in healthcare, he may not get the help he needs. Become an ally. Rise above racism in healthcare. I am God Gregg. My name means everything. Tom Longboats. I am Wolf Clan, Onondaga Nation. I've run many different races. I've run to survive and to be free. I've run to win for honor. These people might be lazy, but this one's damn fast. My people respected our runners, people who carried important messages from village to village. I need a guide to the next post. Dispatch carrier, sir. I can get you there. God sakes, that slow down. Who do you think I am, Tom Longboat? No, sir. I am. Running makes me feel alive. It's everything. Tom Longboat was the first indigenous person to win the Boston Marathon. He ran his way to international fame and became an inspiration to generations of athletes. Join us for season four of Simply Cooking by Umchef. Sunday nights at 8 o'clock, right here on Rogers TV.
I kill my skill shopping because I've been here shopping it. What's going on, y'all? It's Jay Morris, a.k.a. your favorite light skin. And you're going to check out my performance on Encore Ottawa 3 coming up this week. Let's go. All again, murderation, 911, call it in. Me, I murder every... My next guest, he's multi-talented. He's a comedian, he's a musician, he's combined the two. He's uh, one of the top comedians in the city, one of the top comedians in the country. You can see him on December 1st and 2nd at the Laugh Lounge. And of course, right here in the daytime studio, Logan Brown joining me. How are you, pal? Look at these bad boys, you know what I mean? Just, <laughs> you brought out the, I did, the was, calves again. I wasn't going to, but then you came out for the little preamble that we uh -huh. did before, and I just thought, you know what? The gals at home really need to see these bad. Like you getting what? What, what Trier, makes these the calves special? Honestly, they've just been carrying the weight of the world's. On you know what I mean? Like just, <laughs> just I have crippling depression, Derek. And uh, okay. these these calves, they help. I they've look down you. and I smile. Therapy, nice. thousands of dollars down the drain. You know what I mean? And then these came into your life. This is better than anything. You, you don't need <laughs> therapy if you're if you if you right now have mental illness of any kind. Fire your therapist. Okay. Just start squatting heavy. <laughs> Honestly, the, glee, the serotonin. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, physical activity does help with you, mental health. Oh, I'm sedentary otherwise. And don't otherwise. fire your therapist, by the way, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna, don't go out and do that, all right? I don't condone that behavior. Um, for people that have, are just meeting you for the first time, you're, you've been a musician pretty much your entire life. When did comedy come into, yeah, into your I've life? always loved comedy. Uh, I was a musician full-time pretty much for 14 years. Unless you were watching this, you work for the CRA. I've never done it in my life, never even picked up a guitar. <laughs> um, but comedy was something that I got into uh, in the pandemic. You know, I, okay. I, yeah, it was, uh, I, got a, I got a real job. I started working for the government. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. Ouch. Oh yeah, dude, benefits. Do you know how, do you oh, know how benefits if you are think nice. it's cool to make people laugh, when you walk into the dentist office and you go fix this for free, that's that's not yeah. Oh, that's that's right. That's calf level of happiness yeah, that I feel. Yeah, hundred percent. And yeah, so I started doing stand up and uh, then started bringing the guitar, combining my two. I'm a big have your cake and eat it too type of person. Okay. I don't like okay. making decisions. So started bringing the guitar, and lo and behold, I'm now the funniest man in human existence. In human existence. Yes. Yes. Wow. I'm, I'm very frustrated. And this is only seven minutes long. I got to be honest. <laughs> very confident. Yes. At the yeah. same time. Uh, speaking of you know bringing music and comedy together, we actually I want to show you a, a short piece of a great song Logan has written and performed uh, on a few occasions. It's called uh, The Secret Burger. H have a look at Secret Burger here. Punch the clock at my nine to five. Warm my car, time to start my drive. My lady asks me to pick up fast food. I'm happy to oblige, but there's something I must do. What my wife don't know could never hurt her. So I'll get myself a secret burger. A secret burger, the only thing to make me feel. Secret burger, inhaled over my steering wheel. Always on impulse, never planned. Last minute purchase at the drive through stand. Don't need a wrapper, just throw it in my face. And forget you ever saw me set foot in this place. A crime so perfect it could be murder. Get separate bags to tidy up my secret burger. I'm gonna guess, Logan, uh, this is based on a true story. Oh, this absolutely. Song. Yeah. Absolutely. You should look at the footwell in my passenger side <laughs> of my vehicle right now, just full of wrappers that <laughs> And uh, I think we've all been there. Yes. Like I've done I've done the secret burger. Like maybe it wasn't me, you know, maybe it wasn't a hamburger, maybe it was a chicken burger, but I've I have i have done the little extra yeah. grab it at that fast food place and, yeah. and hide it. Of course. And it's not always when your partner requests that you get fast food. It's no, sometimes no. it's just like, what's for dinner? And they're like, yams. And you go, 
Right, okay. I love yams. Yeah. Of course, of course. You have 800 calories. <laughs> That's all I need. And then you've got bacon on your face. Yeah. Just, you know, just the gristle, just <laughs> seeping off your pores. That's... Uh, tell me about your band, your comedy band, Logan Brown and the, and the Daddies. Yes. Who, who are the Daddies? The Daddies. Mr. Harrison Singer on the bass guitar and Mr. Chris Zimmerman on the drums. Two of the, like, best musicians I've ever worked with in my life. Uh, I have a background in jazz, and I've always, okay. again, like to have my cake and eat it too. I was doing a lot of stand-up, and it was always fun. But I can't do any guitar solos. They're not funny, you know? Mm. So if I have a band, then I can play all the guitar oh, solos I, I want. So I sandwich all of the music that I released on Black Man, White Privilege, uh, the comedy album that I put out in July. And uh, we have this, we've got a couple of unreleased songs as well, but we put together just a face-melting, side-tickling extravaganza. Nice, so We did nice. our debut show at Live on Elgin last month, and uh, it was awe-inspiring and life-changing. For me, I can't, the audience just the didn't, audience they, they didn't care. The audience you're not sure on. Okay. Um, but, uh, but for me, I, I loved it. So yeah, no, we've been doing a lot more gigging recently, and we've got some, you know, infrequent stuff coming up just as we prepare to go and do a studio album oh, okay and then uh, maybe a live record too or something like that nice. and then uh, yeah yeah lots of plans hey we were talking uh, Christmas shopping with Lucia in the segment previous uh, as an entertainer advice for, for for Christmas shopping like how do you Christmas shop you know you're an entertainer oh. I mean you're making big dollars I'm he sure heaps, heaps. Yeah, yeah you can't tell because I'm not wearing something nearly as nice as the previous three guests <laughs> uh, I'm also the only one to not be introduced as a legend so I'm gonna remember oh, that forever uh, all-star oh all-star that was it Come right on, I thought my introduction for, I said one I of think the you were best just comedians in the country I think you were just distracted by the calf no, you know, that's, it was that's yeah. also true because I want, didn't expect those we want calfter and laughter so when I I go Christmas shopping, what I like to do, and if you're a musician, an artist, entertainer of any kind, this is what you can do. You go okay. into Sobeys, Giant Tiger, wherever, you buy a box of noodles. Okay. Right? You just take that home, you boil those noodles, get some Ziploc bags, okay. you open up the Ziploc bags, take the boiled noodles, put them in the Ziploc bags, seal that bad boy up, no air. Okay. Then you get bows, reds, greens, your blues, gold, anything, dollar store, pop that on, write someone's name on it, there you go. That's it. That's the gift. I like it. Yeah. And yeah. you've done some work. It's Moist like a, macaroni. It is a homemade gift. Of course. Right? If you Put think it in a it. sock, too, if they like the stocking. <laughs> Just swing it around your head, hit Nana in the face with I it. I mentioned off the top, uh, you're performing at Laugh Lounge, the yes. Laugh Lounge, on December 1st and 2nd. Yes. Uh, still tickets available. Uh, is it going to be the band? Just yourself? It's just it's, myself. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just just myself for now. Um, I've got a couple more, like, regular solo stand-up dates before the band kicks into okay. high gear. So it's just all writing and prepping right now with them. But this is this is gonna be a blast. The Laugh Lounge is one of my favorite clubs yeah, in the it's city. Yeah, a great so, club for yeah, sure. It's fantastic. Awesome, so. buddy. Thank you so much. Thank Congratulations, you, you all-star legend. You, <laughs> Logan Brown, live at the Laugh Lounge uh, for their Pro Weekends, December first and second. Showtime is uh, eight thirty p.m. They're located down there on York Street. You can find out more information on the website, Logan's website as well. We'll be back with more right after this. Today, I helped a senior find transportation to an important medical appointment. Today, I helped a new mom find virtual programming so she didn't feel so isolated. Today, I helped someone understand new government supports. Every day, 211 navigators connect Canadians to critical government and community programs and services. 211. Help starts here. Every year, dozens of Canadians are killed or seriously injured because they take risks around railway tracks. Talk to your loved ones about rail safety. Visit StopTrackTragedies.ca. It'd be a tragedy if we were losing one person to drug overdose every day. Five, seven, or 12 people. That would be unimaginable. But in Canada, we lose 20 people to overdose every single day. That's a crisis. Donate to help CAMH face addiction head on.
Rogers TV. Play four games of bingo from the comfort of your own home each Monday at 7 p.m. for your chance to win money from our $2,000 regular bingo or $5,000 super bingo night. Kiwanis TV Bingo, Mondays at 7 p.m. on Rogers TV. Welcome back to the show. It's always a pleasure when you look down at your at your notes for your next guest and uh, you go to pronounce their name and, and they just look at you and go, you know what, just call me Dar. Dr. Dar joins me on the show. He is a stroke neurologist at the Ottawa Hospital, also senior scientist at the Ottawa Hospital Research Institute. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Great Thank to have you, you Thanks here. Thanks a lot. Um, Dar, first of all, let's talk about your, your role at, at the Ottawa Hospital as, as a stroke neurologist. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your role. Uh, basically, I'm the doc that you have the uh, misfortune of running into in the middle of the night if you've had a stroke so I work in the emergency department I really just break blood clots up for a living um, but I'm the guy that uh, myself and a handful of others in, in town are the ones who would treat your stroke and hopefully get you back on your feet and you make home. it sound easy but it's it's not quite that easy I imagine I mean right? I'm, I'm good at one thing <laughs> yeah. that's not true because you're also a musician which which we'll get to in just a moment um, let's talk also about the University of Ottawa Brain and Mind Research Institute and the great work that that goes on there yeah, so this is an institute that brings together all the brain researchers and uh, neuroscientists from across town, irrespective of what institution they're part of. Or, okay. And what I mean by that is we have, this is 10 years ago, we realized we had brain scientists in this hospital, that hospital, this university, that institute, and they didn't know each other. So the University of Ottawa Brain and Mind Research Institute was this umbrella organization to get everybody together and bring all the research together, build new collaborations, and really put Ottawa on the map. What um, what sort of growth have we seen within that? So have we seen some great success stories come out of that collaboration? Quite dramatic. And the story of Ottawa, much like many other aspects, is that you're actually more famous outside of the city than you are inside. Mm, so we're fairly, within Ottawa, we're fairly humble and we always think other people have it better. So people think the Yales, the Harvards and these other famous institutions are where you go. But turns out the top docs and the top researchers are actually at the Brain and Mind Institute and, and at various other institutes in Ottawa. So yeah, since this institute took off, we've been uh, putting out some groundbreaking research. We've been bringing all sorts of uh, clinical trials to town that you, you get treated here with things that you would never get anywhere else across Canada or, really? or even the world. So can you just, uh, for example, can you share an example of that? Uh, well, absolutely. We have um, certain stroke therapies, uh, for what, one for the bleeding stroke in the brain called cerebral hemorrhage. There, there has been to date no treatment and then a new treatment mm -hmm. became available in the context of a clinical trial which is running worldwide. Ottawa had the first patient in the world to receive the therapy. Wow. We also had the second patient in the world to receive the therapy. Now there's been over 300 people uh, ranging from Japan to the US who've had this therapy, but we were we put it on the map um, amongst many others. Uh, we take a, a lot of pride in this country in that we have universal health care, but that doesn't mean that we, we don't have to raise funds for research, for hospitals, for equipment and, and so forth. And you've got a great event coming up. It is called Rockin' with the Docs. Uh, mm -hmm. I mentioned you're a musician yourself. Tell me uh, about your, your musical background. Well, I play the drums. I mean, plan A was always to start a, a rock band and make it big that way and <laughs> that course. didn't work so I ended up being a stroke <laughs> neurologist but but many years later it's kind of come back a little bit um, how did you how did you all get together for you know well, to we create this actually, band? We got to thank COVID and the lockdown. It's, really, it's I, weird, and I think everybody's got a COVID story of how it sparked something. But you know, when you, we are doing all those Zoom meetings and uh, everybody's seeing each other in their own houses instead of uh, in person, during that lockdown, you started noticing stuff in people's back backgrounds in their house that you know they they probably didn't realize is behind them. I'd see people with guitars behind them and whatnot. So you know, you'd email them afterwards and go, "Hey, you play an instrument." And then uh, that would one thing led to another. Before you knew it, we had a band made up of a bunch of doctors. Wow, amazing. Mm -hmm. So uh, do you rehearse together yeah. on a fairly regular basis? It's you get quite together? hard because um, our, our, our team is, so there's myself, you know, um, we got a cardiologist, a gastroenterologist. We've got a director of strategy for the Department of Medicine. We have the uh, vice dean of research of the university. All of us have these crazy schedules, yeah. so it's next to impossible to get together. But all of us really enjoy the band. So, yeah, we get together. We just got together earlier this week. We 
okay. got two rehearsals next week, so we, we make time. What kind of music do you, do you, uh, do you guys enjoy playing? We're uh, doing cover songs ranging all the way from the Beatles all the way to the Black Keys. So we're trying to cover three, four uh, generations. I'd say mostly um, 90s and early 2000s, but we're trying to spread it around to um, to kind of cater to everybody that we play to. Have, have you performed publicly before? Is this your first? No, we've played okay. a few shows. Yeah. Um, we started with just a little joke thing and we to do a song that we thought would be a little gimmick and fun, and then people came to us after and said, we got to have you at our thing. And really? You know, eh? Every time there's an event, somebody sees us play at it and then brings us to the next event and so on. So it's really taken off. For this fundraiser, Dar, is it going to anything specific? It's going to go to the Brain and Mind Institute. So, so okay. one, we, I mean, in addition to the fundraising, we want to try and raise awareness to the Institute and just let people know there's some great research going on and great therapies coming out of Ottawa. Uh, but then the money goes directly, um, 100%, to the researchers in, in the Institute. So all this money goes to creating both knowledge and new therapies, uh, both locally and internationally. Just amazing. And I, I'm, uh, I'm just so impressed that all of you can find that. How many, how many members in, in the band? We're five total. Yeah. You're a five-member yeah, band. Five nice. Member band, yeah. So you've got the full rock and roll. You got the drums, we got lead, the drums, the rhythm. Guitars, you got it. We got the whole show. Yeah, Just we're loud. We can be loud. Do you do some singing? I do a little backup singing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I nice. could use an auto tune, but we just turn up the <laughs> reverb and uh, we're good to go. I love it. Um, I know how incredibly busy you are. So uh, a big thanks to you for for joining us no, today. Thanks really, for really us. appreciate it. Uh, again, uh, Rockin' with the Docs is coming up um, on December the first. It kicks off at uh, 7 p.m. A great, by the way, a great venue for it. It's um, the One Up Cocktail Pub. That is above the uh, Royal Oak on Beechwood. It's located at One Beechwood Avenue, which is right in my hood. Uh, but if you've never been there before, uh, a great venue to go see a band. So again, uh, rocking with the docks, uh, December 1st, 7 p.m. You can visit uottawa.ca uh, forward slash research dash innovation forward slash brain to get your tickets. You might even be able to find them on the Royal Oak website as well. We'll be back with more right after this. Learn all about the creation of the National Capital Region on The History of Ottawa According to Phil Jenkins on Rogers TV. Join me, holistic chef Daniela Croco, for season four of Simply Cooking by Um Chef right here on Rogers TV. October 5th, 2014, my daughter was hit by a train. She was walking along the sides of the tracks and it shattered her world. <laughs> Hey, this is Dominique Orley. I'm part of Encore 3, and be sure to catch my set this week. We are going downtown, leaving out all your stress and your sorrow. Welcome back to the show. And I wasn't just saying that off the top of the show. All-star lineup. What a great lineup today. Uh, a great way to wrap up a week here on, on daytime. I uh, hope you have a fantastic weekend. Before you get to the weekend, though, let's talk about a couple of things. Uh, big thanks to executive chef uh, and, of course, co-owner Michael Blackie from Next. Um, don't forget, they sell out each and every year. So if you're looking for an easy Christmas at home dinner, uh, nextfood.ca is the place to go. They have their Christmas Eve dinner as well. You can do it at home. Their gala will sell out as well. So so make sure you get your tickets and don't forget they've got their Sunday brunches tasting menu back as well. A uh, great opportunity to get together with family and friends there. Um, Sheena Brady, uh, just an amazing success story, Canadian success story, started right here in Ottawa, uh, teaswellness.com to find out more information about that and all the great work she does helping support other women in business. Uh, as Sheena mentioned, they've got their big celebration coming up on December the 1st. You can reach out to her uh, at Tees Wellness. Uh, on Instagram. I believe uh, she's on all social media if you want to get together for that big celebration. And don't forget Logan Brown, comedian, musician, Laugh Lounge, Pro Weekends, December 1st and 2nd. You can catch him at uh, 8.30 p.m. on both of those days. As I mentioned off the top, have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday. Call the Rogers TV viewer response line, email us, or connect with us on social media.
Do you have something to share? Let everyone know about your next meeting, your need for volunteers, or your fundraising event on the Rogers TV Community Billboard. Send us your words and we'll bring them to life on Rogers TV and RogersTV.com. When it's time to spread the word, go to RogersTV.com to add your announcement to the Community Billboard. Ottawa, it's the national capital of Canada. But how much do you know about the city's history? This is Phil Jenkins. Join me.